Welcome back to the video guys. Thank you guys for joining me, your boy Tony today. I'm all swagged up with the Toon Tuna stuff, you already know. Today we're gonna be working on the bug, man. I'm gonna show you guys some weather real quick. Yesterday was kinda raining. Today, beautiful skies today, man. You guys seeing this right here? Beautiful skies, working on the bug today. If you guys missed my last video, this is a continuation of that. We lowered the bug in the previous video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, I'm gonna make sure to link it in the description as well. And today we're gonna pretty much slap on the rest of the parts that I did not have time for because I didn't stop took me forever. So I got all my parts lined up in the back right here. This is them right here. Um, Lumber Chrome, hopefully I fixed one of my leaks. So this is an oil filler. And it's basically um, inverted, like in the direction. It's not straight like that, it's like this, so you don't spill no more, because that's a common issue on these cars. I spill and I leak from right here. So on my stock one, I'll show you that right now as soon as we dive into it. Um, basically I ordered this in aluminum. The fitting right here because i didn't want brass to be shown so i got it in aluminum i i don't know why they couldn't just offer me the option but whatever thank you j bugs uh and then j bay i also got a billet dipstick because billet you know why not unfortunately this one is really really short and i wanted it kind of long but it is what it is i'm not gonna be mad about it still billet man right here we got aluminum nut for the wiper arms because mine are all mismatched and ugly so we got those right there uh i just got random filters right here that i'm gonna use for the vent since I don't have a PCV line to put it back to the actual um, intake or uh, carb, I'm sorry, or a carb filter, whatever you guys want to call it. And then a billet um, brake, e brake button. That's going to be the last of it. That's going to finish it off on the interior. And let's dive into it, man. Well, hello there, beautiful. So this should be fairly easy. And what I want to do is make sure that it's the actual same size as this one. See, they look pretty about the same size, so. We're going to stick this one in there, see what it looks like. Ta-da! That's what it looks like. Now I have no, it looks like I have no dipstick. Let me know what you guys think, bro. The dipstick is something that I definitely have to get used to. But let me know what you guys think about that. It looks, it just looks really weird right there. And next up on the list, we got our billet e-brake button. So based off what we've already done you guys should already know how to do this you get some of these snap ring pliers and you take off this little c-clamp remember where you left it and you just want to push this bar out you guys already know how to do this we already did a video on this we just want to get this sucker out of there put that to the side as well you start loosening up your e-brake cables and then you could just take out the whole e-brake thing ta-da and the way you take this out is pretty easy. You just kind of click the button. Ta-da! Take the whole thing out. This unscrews off. Now I'm realizing that maybe we didn't have to take the whole thing apart. But we're already here. Just screw the new one on. And we'll be set to go. And to put it on is just the opposite of what we did. So I don't. you guys don't have to see that. You guys could just do it. I just want to see it on the car already. I'm sure you guys do too. All right, next up, we got the wiper arm. As you can see, mine are all mismatched. They're not even the same size. So we're gonna go ahead and bust down on that. Switch them out. We got them all in right there, look. Look, man, look. They're looking proper right now. They're looking good. If I didn't show you guys inside yet, bro, sheesh. I'm not gonna lie. I was skeptical about like the, the black against the billet, or the aluminum. But honestly, it looks freaking killer, bro. I love the small accents because only the tip is, uh, is billet. Only the top is billet. And even like my my door locks, they're billet as well. Sheesh, man. It's all in the details, bro. All in the details. Just that subtle hint of aluminum, bro. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? Man, let me know what you guys think about the mods, man. Let me know. Let me know don't, don't down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a fat thumbs up, man. I'm really you guys wanted some updates on my dad's bug, so I figured right now would be a good time. Um, just doing basic uh, maintenance stuff. It's getting a new uh, fuel pump. 
The other one doesn't prime no more. It doesn't work. Or doesn't seem to be working. We're trying to figure it out. And just took off the last two bolts. So it should come out. I'm just going to be replacing it. Some light work. You know, we've already done this before. It's already easy. Pull out that rod. Make sure to pull out that rod first, man. You want to pull out that rod. We got a generic. It's like an MP for alternator. Comes with the gaskets. I usually just use these. Let me know if you guys use like RTV around it as well. This is a fuel pump. The only difference between this one and mine is that this one's like stock style where this cut is like at the bottom. Whereas like mine is like straight. You see how this one's at an angle? It's for the make space for the alternator. What are you doing, bro? This homie's just getting tangled. I have him kick it with me since you don't get to be on the side much. But anyways, I'm gonna slap this one on. The thin one or the smaller one goes on the bottom and the thick one. Well, I'm, I'm sure you can assume where that one goes on the top. So you got to sandwich it between these two. Put the put the little thing back in. The little rod, I have it right there chilling in the bag. Make sure to put that in as well. Should be good to go. Should be a fairly easy install. So there's a new fuel pump on. When I put when I took off the lines, there wasn't any actual gas getting out. So maybe the other one was shot or maybe he's out of gas. Either way, um, I'm going to close it up for today. And then once my dad turns it on and we'll figure it out a little bit more, I'll give you guys another update, man. But... That was all she was needing to be honest just the fuel pump and i noticed that the fuel pump oh that was a little bit too hard the old one didn't have like the rod in the middle like so you know like the bottom rod right there the little lever that it pushes that one didn't even have it it like fell off as soon as i took it off so it might have been broken so that might have been what was causing the issue but like i said i'll keep you guys updated all right so i keep getting this nasty leaf from right here and i can't understand why so i it, part of it is the actual oil cap but that one's brand new so I, there's not much I can do about that because it's just it's just not functional, I guess. And then it just leaks from like over here and down there. So I just want to alleviate all that issues all at once. And I'm just going to get rid of that because it's just what's making all this nasty leakage right here. And it's disgusting. Plus, I, have, I basically have to spill it every single time I want to drive because it just can't do it apparently or something. I don't know, man. We're just going to change it out. Um, probably clean that up when I'm done as well. But if you guys don't know to take this off. You take off the cap and there's like a special socket for that grooved part inside if you guys can see that can you guys see that that part right there with the lip there's a special socket for that a whole month later all right so it's been a while guys i haven't been on the video for a minute and um, the reason why is because i had to wait on a very special part the part that i got originally to fix to take off the uh oil filler it was like the recommended one you know like the one that they saw on the website and stuff and that didn't work at all like at all i use like the hammer impact the one where you hit it and it spins it uh from harbor fright that didn't work so i ordered this thing this is what we got right here right internal pipe wrench and i only need this one but they don't it was just it's just a headache guys i had to order it and it took like two weeks to get here but it's basically what i needed just a one inch pipe wrench and it should be able to get my thing out man that's what i'm hoping for you feel me this is how it works so you guys see it's like flat right there right like right here you see it it's like flat with them and then when you start turning it it'll start taking it out so that's how it's gonna get grip and then it's just gonna grip it with these splines and i'm gonna spin it with this and hopefully we can take the nut out this is the oil filler and the nut in there is what we're trying to take off so that's what i'm gonna use hopefully this tool can help me because i'm i'm very desperate right now everyone i saw online that said that they used it they all said one inch so i'm gonna give it a shot man Looks like it's gripping right there. I'm gonna just be spinning it. Yeah, see that? What I was telling you about? Ugh, nasty. Gross. But anyways, that's how you do it. I'm just trying to figure out how to get it off now because it was really, really tight. This is a nut. Very, very, very bad design. Or I don't know, maybe it's a good design back in the day, but I, there was no way I was going to be able to get that off. That thing was on there, man. I used a scraper to get the most of the residue out, and I put, um, let me see if I can pull it off for you guys. I put one of these in there so that all of the metals and stuff could go, not go inside my motor and stuff. So this is my new one. 
vertical oil filler grooved cap. So this one no longer uses a nut and it's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Look, perfect fitment for you to just screw it on there, man. Oh, this is gonna look so good. And as an O-ring now, so that's the O-ring is now the seal. You feel me? We're probably gonna go one more, to be honest. It took some muscle, but we got it to the right angle. And uh, you just gotta muscle it out. And uh, here we go. Now I won't have to like spill all the oil, nor will the oil ever spill now, because now we just take this off, fill it up, and now I won't have that annoying leak no more from there as well. Look at that. Beautiful. It comes with the brass fitting, which I already know I had to pay for that nice fitting, man. Let's get it. It's all about the details, man. All right, so me being me, they left the battery connected and I did not charge it, so it's completely dead. Luckily, my dad invests in stuff like this, which is just like, you know, one of those. It's one of those things. So I'm gonna just connect this up real quick and we'll just be on our merry way. Alright, so let me show you guys kind of the game plan of what went down last night so i try to cap this off where the valve goes like where the breather goes and it started spilling oil out of right there right here right there the crank seal it just started oil just started coming out of literally everywhere that it could so i decided to put one of these filters on there it's not very good looking but it's the best one i could find that's chrome it's off my 350z it's the original one from the pcv kit that i bought and it looks a little bit better on the bug being chromed and all that so we're gonna run that one but that's how i decided to run it next probably i'm gonna get like the the one that everybody gets so that goes over there and stuff that's for it's basically a catch can for the bug but i think it's called a breather kit for damn just got off work about to cruise it home fat sheesh what a, it's gonna be a good night man it's gonna be a good night man oh let's go with you I didn't even notice he was ready. You trying to go cruise it too or what? Sheesh! You sure you hear that quick startup though? That's right. How you guys doing today? Let me know down in the comments below, man. How you doing today? I just got off work. Uh, felt a little premature to end the video, so let's catch a quick sunset. You feel me? This is my typical ride home. I think you guys been here through here before, right? Hopefully this view is a little bit better in the sense that you can see the sky more because we the sky really do be vibing out here in Cali, bro. No cap. It is about to be 6 right now. For those of you guys wondering what time it is, it's about to be 6 p.m. right now. It's typically how the weather goes in Cali, man. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. The car's running great, by the way. Super. It's running super good, man. I'm super happy with the car. The only thing it needs is like an alignment. It needs an alignment bad because if I let go of the wheel, it starts pulling to the right all crazy. And the steering wheel has never been straight, so I've never gotten in the line. But as you guys remember, the toe on, like all, pretty much all the ball joints are like non-existent. So yeah, there's I gotta deal with that. But it needs an alignment bad, and I rub pretty bad. Like, I'm going 50 right now, and if I were, hit, were to hit a bump, which I might on the way home, because on the road, uh, it's, it's gonna rub. And sometimes it rubs, and I can smell the burnt tire. So I think it rubs a little bit too much. Granted, I have two tool boxes in the front, like in the front, but uh, if I take those out, I don't know how much of a difference it's actually gonna make. I might take out everything in the front, but then I have a spare, so if I put the spare back, it's just literally gonna throw all that weight back, so I'm just, I'm just gonna live with it, bro. It's what I wanted. I wanted a little Volkswagen. These are the things we deal with. Might as well. My like long, long-term goal is to make 
this car like literally scrape the ground. But like I know I gotta like really really like I gotta buy like all new suspension because this stuff is really really worn out, you know. It's all in good time though, at least we can enjoy it right now for the drop spindles, you know. Cool car, cool car to drive. Shout out to California for the weather because when this car was down it was raining so luckily now that it's drivable I can enjoy the weather man.